was really lucky when I got into costuming because I'm from New Mexico and they had really big film incentives coming to the state right as I was graduating college. I also was a theater major, um, but because they were so desperate to have local hires, they were just plucking us out of college and giving us jobs. Um, whether we really had any training or not. So I think, and I've seen this on a lot of locations that I've worked on, I think one of the big barriers is training people who, a training path and a clear way to show people how to get into the industry and how to work in it. I work in Atlanta a lot, and there's um, a lot of people who are, able to join the union, but they don't really have, they haven't had um, proper training on how to be a set customer. They're just sort of thrown in. So I think that is one of the big barriers, a training program and sort of a clear, a clear path of how you enter the industry. Yes. So I would say the minimum amount of time there is for training. Aside from design school, if you do go to design school, most of the training happens on the job. And there is really minimum amount of time to train anybody these days. So, you know, one of the issues is that people want to hire people that have experience. But if you don't have experience, how are you supposed to get the training? And if no one's offering training, then how are you supposed to get the job? So, you know, it's, it's quite difficult right now um, to kind of solve that issue. And that's kind of why, part of the reason why I started the costume consultant to, you know, gives people some uh, learning and skill set um, to have before they start their first day. You just heard from Lindsay Keir owner of The Costume Consultant and the sponsor of today's video. Get a free 10-minute discovery call with Lindsay. More on that at the end of this video. I, I feel there's still probably a lot of barriers, but maybe not as many as there used to be. I think the hardest thing to probably comprehend is just even how do you go about it? That initial step is is not so clear. I think now we have more access to costume designers and being able to contact people and have the information online of how to do it. Um, and so that is helpful. And that that's not something that existed that long ago. But it's still the act of doing it and, you know, finding the work and making the calls and being consistent with you know, hunting down the people you want to work for, how do you break in, you know, producers or other customers, usually you're starting as a PA. And so you're starting at the bottom, but, you know, I started as a PA, many people started as a PA, and it is the best way to meet people and build that circle of contacts. There he was getting into costuming. That's a really interesting question. I just have to. I'm on low battery. <laughs> I'm talking more than I thought. Um, I won't keep you too much longer. No, no, no. It's fine. It's so nice. Um, challenges and barriers getting into costuming. Uh, to be honest, over the years, just observing different people that I've Net that I would love to actually collaborate with, or you know, bring into my you know arena and, and you know have the ability to train or you know benefit from their talent. Um, it's all about timing. Um, mm -hmm. I've seen people come in who have no background whatsoever. They haven't gone to school for it. They actually don't know much about it. Uh, at times when there's a lot of work happening and. Um, desperate for people and then other times when it's slowed down and then I you know I did um, a number of years ago I, I spoke at a, a college uh, a fashion college and people were very interested and I brought my you know, references and my work and that type of thing and there were a lot of people who were really interested in the business but it wasn't a very opportune time to get involved because 
said, so it just wasn't a lot of work happening at that particular time. And so I met some great people that I'm sure ended up branching out into other things. I, I did recommend a few a few things to some people. I tried to connect them with, with the commercials or small films or things that were going on that I knew about. But um, for the most part, uh, I think a lot of those people ended up in, in another venue. And as people do, I mean, apparently people who train, 80% of them end up in something not quite along the lines of what they were educated for. So which is kind of my case as well. So um, yeah, for me, for me, timing is the most important thing. Um, well, in Canada, it seems to be tied to our dollar. <laughs> so when our dollar is, you know, low, we seem to get a lot of U.S. business, and then when it's high, it, we don't. Is that? <laughs> am I right in that? Well, that's always been the case. Yeah. And, and I'm interested to see now. I've, I've had calls for Italy this year, like a number of calls for Italy. So there must be something going on in Italy. But um, and and often the places that uh, production is happening are not the easiest places to work. So it's definitely, you know, the the cost of the labor force there, or um, not not easy to work because they don't have um, the facilities, they don't have the uh, people with the expertise, you know, who people they have to import. Um, but you know, in the balance of things, if that's worth it for production, so they'll shoot, you know, they'll shoot New York and they'll say, or desert if it's going to save them money. It's uh, you know, but then they have to bring the people in who can actually build the buildings and you know make it look like New York. So um, yeah, the financial thing is obviously key. I mean, it is a business, and uh, I find as time goes by, you know, one becomes very aware of how important the, the business side of it. I think it's always been that way, honestly. Are you interested in working in the costume industry but don't know how to get started? The costume consultant created by Lindsay Keir is a service specifically designed to support your dream of finding costume jobs as well as advancing your career. There is a common misconception that costuming work is only for people who live in cities like Los Angeles or New York, but this simply isn't true. Lindsay has been part of costume teams all over the world, including Canada, the United States, Australia, and Hong Kong, and she can help you turn your passion into your career as well. So set up a free 10-minute discovery call with Lindsay. Click on the link in the description below and begin your journey today.